Why isn't anyone talking about the name? Are we just gonna ignore the title of the piece or the title, yo? Um, that's a silly name for Hello, a song. The name? Not the name. Not the name. Hello, the name. I'm so sick of it. Hi there. I'm Bassoon Dan. I'm a professional bassoon player. <laughs> And today, I'm gonna tell y'all an industry secret between us two. Okay, y'all ready for this? The bassoon's actually not called the bassoon. It's called the bassoon in English speaking countries. However, there are a ton of countries and a lot of different languages, so it's called different things. In English, it's spelled B A S S O O N. <laughs> In French, it's called the same thing, but it's missing an S, and it's pronounced basson. However, the bassoon was made in Germany, so the real name of the instrument in German is this word. All right, no, no, hold up, hold up. Okay, so I know what y'all are thinking, right? Well, I can't just name an instrument after a bad word like that? If you're thinking that, then that's incorrect because it has nothing to do with the slang meaning of it. So, for those of you who don't get the joke or who don't speak English, this word in German looks a whole lot like this word in English. And yes, I have to censor it because YouTube. It's a bad word! According to Oxford Dictionary, it is a derogatory slur for a homosexual man. Also, by the way, it's not pronounced the same. Fagot. Say it with me, kids. Fagot. And that's how you say it. So notice the emphasis is on the second syllable, right? Rather than the first. That's the difference between you being classical and you getting in trouble. Why is the instrument called this in the first place? This actually has to do with the literal definition of this word, which according to Oxford Dictionary means a bundle of sticks or twigs bound together as fuel. So back in ye olden days, I was in middle school when dinosaurs roamed the earth and before the invention of cars and everybody had a Sony Walkman. They had to find fuel. Most of y'all will say, oh, coal. Yeah, that's easy. But if you couldn't find coal or if you wanted a cheaper alternative, you could go out into the wilderness and just grab a bunch of sticks. During the day, you would go, you pick up a bunch of sticks, you put them together, with some rope, put on your back, and you go home. And you toss in your furnace, you heat up your home, boom, you're done. Now, how does that relate? This actually has to do with the appearance of the bassoon, which looks like a bundle of sticks. Here's a visual example. Y'all see this? This is Led Zeppelin IV, aka the one with Stairway to Heaven. Y'all see that thing on his back, right? That's that word. That's what it means, or at least that's what it's supposed to mean. I don't get to pick what's a bad word and what's not a bad word, right? I didn't know. I didn't know it was a bad word until after I played the bassoon. I remember when I first found out about the bassoon's real name. I was in sixth grade. I went on Google Translate and I put bassoon in and I translated it and it came up a bad word. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. And to my shock and knowledge, pretty much every major language is based on this word. I didn't make this up. I'm not a linguistics person. So for this video, I actually went out into the wilderness myself and I gathered a bunch of sticks so I can make a bundle myself and show it off to y'all. When I say into the wilderness, I mean, I drove to my local Hobby Lobby and I bought a bunch of branches. So let's take a look. This is a bassoon. This is a bundle of sticks. Notice the striking similarities between the two. Okay, so what next? So now you know what the real name is, what it means, and why it's called that. Where do we go from here? I could be a grown up and just tell you. Hey, you shouldn't say that word. It's a bad word. You can't call people names like that. Man, it's, it's 2023. But y'all aren't gonna listen to me. I'm just some 43 year old man on YouTube who plays the bassoon. So instead of telling you what to do, I'm actually gonna tell you some other funny names of instruments in different languages. <clears throat> Let's start with the trombone. <laughs> I 
every other language besides English, it's some variation of the word trombone. Except in Germany where it's called the Poussin? 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 Poussin. 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 Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I guess it got lost in translation somewhere. I don't know why it's called that. It's a weird word. It looks like poutine. Ha 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 ha, pretty funny. Okay, whatever. I'm not a trombone player, so I don't know the history behind the word, nor do I care to look it up. So if someone could kindly tell me, that'd be great. The next one up is the tambourine. Just like the trombone, pretty much every language has a variation of the word tambourine as their word. Except in Russian, it's called the boobin. Boobin. I just like this word because it sounds funny. And it's a lot of fun to say. It's a lot better than saying Pushan, Pusani. Next up is the flute. In Spanish, it's called the flauta. Now I know what y'all are thinking. Now wait a minute. Hold up. Isn't that the same name as the food item? Yes, it is. Fun fact. Imagine playing an instrument named after food. Oh, wait. That's the next one. The French horn. My favorite brass instrument, like ever. The French horn actually has two funny names. If French horn in English is called the French horn, guess what it's called in France? Oh, it's just called horn, right? And corn in French is core. It's funny because of how simple it is, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the Italian word, AKA corno. <laughs> corno, it's, an, it's a vegetable. You're named after a vegetable. Mamma mia, I want the summer corno. Mamma mia, I want the summer lasagna with the corno. I don't know. I'm not Italian. Lastly, lastly, and I apologize in advance to our double reed sister, the oboe. They also have two funny names. I'm gonna start off with the Russian one. In Russian, it's called the go boy. I think it's pronounced go bois, but go boy. Is, it sounds like a knockoff Game Boy, the go boy. And of course, in German, it's called the hot boys. Hot boys. It, imagine playing an instrument named after an attractive group of men. I could never. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all. Uh, I hope y'all learned a little bit of something. Anyway, just don't say it out of context, right? Unless you're from a country that doesn't speak English, then you have no reason using this word. Just call it the bassoon. I am not responsible if you get in trouble with your parents, your teacher, your band director, the local authorities, the dean of the university. I have no say in this. I'm just here to educate y'all from professional to whoever's watching this. It's 2023, grow up. It's not even that funny anymore. <laughs> That's it, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all go practice your scale. Y'all can't even play the D flat scale, I bet. I bet y'all can't even play the D flat scale. Go practice. Croissant?